Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of today's special minis. Uh, I had a spur of the moment idea to make something and as usual I wasn't filming so uh, I just thought why don't I film as much of it as I can. I can't promise you a whole tutorial or anything like that but um, I might be able to film little parts along the way to show you what I'm doing. So as you can see here I'm starting to work on a little file cabinet. I made all of the um, the file folders first. And now I'm just making the cabinet. I'm making this up as I go along. I just found a reference for two two drawer cabinet on uh, Google Images. Doing a Google image search. And uh, I found a cabinet that I like. And it just gave me the rough dimensions, and so I'm the rest of it. I'm just kind of winging it as I go along. I'm just brute forcing it, doing whatever I can do to make it look like the picture. Uh, let me show you. Meeting a lifesaver. But I'll uh, move you over to my computer real quick and show you what I'm looking at, so you can kind of get an idea of what I do. Okay, I'm back. Just a quick shot of my computer screen. And uh, whenever I'm doing a miniature, I first like to get a reference. Sorry, I was just finishing my lifesaver. Um, and so I just look for a simple file cabinet, and this came up. Um, this this two drawer cabinet that I thought, okay, that's that's okay. I like that one. I think I can do that. So just clicked on the image and it takes me to the website where this uh, cabinet can be found it's at Office Depot so this is what I'm using as my reference and then you, as you can see when you click on it you can get a, a, a larger look at it and you can kind of look at the side and get an idea of how it's constructed now my miniature is not going to be exactly like this obviously because I'm I don't it doesn't need to be so I'm going to tweak it to fit whatever I need it to be. So like I said, you fake it while you make it. Um, you don't, you're not going to get it exact, so don't even try. Um, but here's the important parts where you go, the description. And the product details. And then it says show more. And this shows you all the dimensions you might want to look at if you want to create one roughly around the same size. But like I said, when I do my dollhouse scale, I approximate. So this tells you that the drawers are 26 and a half inches high, uh, 14 and a quarter inches wide, and 20. No, uh, what's the depth? 18 inches deep. So my numbers will be adjusted because this is based on a letter size piece of paper and in the real world we know um, a letter size piece of paper is eight and a half by eleven but in my doll world a piece of paper is nine by twelve so it's uh, 0.75 by one inch and so I have to build all my measurements based off of the size paper that I have and you'll just do the same for whatever size dollhouse you have all right, we'll get back uh, to the miniature. And the reason I'm doing it like this too is once I make one, hopefully that'll give me the knowledge I need to be able to just make some other ones. So I did this little box already. I have no idea if this is going to work out. Like I said, this is me just making stuff up as I go along. If it works out, I'll paint it and everything. If not, I'll go back to the drawing board. Like I told you guys, sometimes it takes me three or four tries before I get something right. Now, there's my lifesavers. That's my late night energy. Um, here, last night I just decided to make the file folders. I had a piece of, um, I had some of this paper, so I don't know where this paper came from or what. It, it, I had this paper for years, but as soon as I got this paper, I already knew that this was going to end up being miniature file folders because I thought it was the perfect color of green, like those Pendaflex 
file hanging file folders. So I saved it for years and years and years just for the uh, on the off chance that I might want to make mini file folders one day hanging file folders. So um, and, I, and I am reorganizing and toning and paring down things. I don't have that much stuff anyway, but like I said in another video, I'm paring down even what I have. So in the process, I found this again. And I just decided to go ahead and, and do it. So, so here we are. So I had gotten this far, just kind of making things up. And then I thought, turn the camera on. So I'm going to make the second cabinet because the the I, I think it'll be easier for me to build the rest of the file cabinet uh, based on me building the two drawers first. So I think that's a little bit backwards, but uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So the first thing I did, uh, the, the drawer covers are one uh, are 15 inches. So I moved them up a, uh, up a bit. It was I think it was 14 and a quarter, um, but I just rounded it up to 15 just to make it easier for myself. And in dollhouse scale, 15 inches is 1.25 inches. So, I drew a square 1.25 inches, and then I just made a little border on the inside and cut it out so it can have that little framing on the outside. You can do that or not do that. And then I'm just going to glue this to some more cardboard. Now, the, the funny thing with uh, recycled uh, packaging, and I think this is from... Cheerios or whatever. Sometimes you have to scuff up the underside because it does have like a glossy coating on it from the printing. And that sometimes hinders it from sticking to itself. So and if you have if you're good at paper cutting and stuff you don't have to do it like I did by cutting uh, through the paper itself you can just use your exacto knife to neatly cut out a square but for me this since this is just uh, me just going for it uh, I just decided to just do it like this uh, and once you glue it down you won't see that cut anyway and it won't matter so do it however you feel comfortable. And then I'm just going to cut this out. Make sure the pieces are straight and lined up, though. There. And I'm going to let that dry. And this is going to be the top of the second drawer. However you want to do it, it's equally spaced. But whatever looks right to you. And uh, then I'm going to put the sides on and the back and the bottom. So I will be back when I cut those pieces out. Okay, I'm back. I cut out the matching pieces. There's the drawer front. This is uh, the back piece that I'll cut to fit later on. This is the right side of the cabinet, the left side of the cabinet. Uh, the bottom and two braces that go on the side and again this is just going to be my prototype I mean if it works out I'm gonna keep it and use it but if it doesn't uh, this is just practice
I'm going to try to center that as much as possible. And in case you don't know what the braces are for, so if this is the cabinet, right, and it's inside the drawer, this is what you pull the the rail that the cabinet is on so it stays level while it's being pulled in and out. So the cabinet, the, the wall of the cabinet will have to have something here and here like to make it like a track for it to move on. So this would be the guide to show me where to put the top and bottom tracks. That I haven't figured out yet. So. You mark this as the right side, and I'll put the other one on. That's the other cool thing about miniatures, too, is just like playing around, figuring things out. Uh, for me, the joy in miniatures is just, just being able to see if you can make a miniature of something. Not even always that you will. Sometimes you're you're not going to be <clears throat> be able to. So the fun is in trying. Probably, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, you'll succeed. And then if you do, you have something cool to show for it. This is why I don't use a lot of fancy materials and things like that. Some people use wood and stuff for the things that they build. And maybe I will use some wood or something one day. It depends on what I'm making, but for something like this, um, I'd rather use paper to start out. So we mark this. I think this was the left side. And so I'm going to glue this and this to this piece. Then I'm going to glue these three pieces to this base. And then I'm going to glue this on the back. Um, but before I do that, I have to glue these sides in. Right? And I have to make sure my manila folders fit. So I will have to... Uh, Put one side in and then put the folders in and make sure the spacing is right so that they hang but they're not too tight like that. So that's what it's going to end up looking like. This is going to go on the front. Uh, this is the bottom. Well. You'll see it when I finish and put it together. And then this will, where's the other little piece? I will cut this out to fit across the back like this one. All right, so I'll come back when I do that. Okay, I'm back here. You can see I put the file folders in to help make the, the uh, side panels uh, as straight as possible and as wide as possible. And I'm going to glue the bottom panel on. So I'm going to try to leave the folders in. You can see I have some box bottom and regular file folders. So I'm just going to put glue a heavy bead along the bottom just to make sure everything can uh, stick nicely. And I'm going to put it 
right on the edge. And then you just hold it until it sets. And what you'll have is a piece that's going to go on top of a piece like this. Of course, it'll be sitting uh, nicely in the cabinet when it's done. Because it will be on the brace rails. And then, once this sets, I will just glue this this and then I'll just cut off the excess okay everybody I'm back I feel like an eternity has passed since I turned this camera on to figure out the railing part I've dropped numerous things I dropped a whole drawer full of stuff and uh, I opened up the silver paint and uh, knocked it over and spilled paint everywhere. So it took me a while to scoop it up and put it back in the the uh, tube, the jar, the bottle, whatever. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> Too through. But still had to try to figure this stuff out. So I put all the sides together. I don't even know what I showed you last. I painted the inside black. It's not a great job because... Um, this glossy paper the paint doesn't stick all that well so ideally what I would have done before if I had thought about it is prime it with some uh, clear gesso but that's okay this is from my dollhouse so it doesn't matter um, and I poked a little hole in it because I was thinking what am I going to use for a drawer pool so I found this tiny bag, a bag of tiny little uh, breads that I bought before. They're like really small. Well, I'm going to use these for drawer pools. And I'm going to paint this part white. And I uh, think I'm going to do some, some embossing on it. Some clear embossing crystals on it and I named, labeled the drawers one and two so I could keep track of everything so what I decided to do was I doubled up some cardboard and put it on here I'm just showing you giving you an example but I cut it to fit uh, each side then I put glue on and then I put a backing sheet on and that will serve as the the guide, the mechanism. And then what I'll do, so here's this one, um, looks like that. And these will basically keep the, um, the drawer in line. And then what I'll do is when I get ready to put the, the outside on, I'll glue it to that. So I hope that makes sense. It'll be like that. And like that. So the rail the rail the inside rails will be glued 
to the walls and the other rails will be glued to the to the drawer so hope that explains it and then this will do the same thing uh, I will put the rails in on the side and then when I add glue the rails will be glued to the outer walls and then that will make up the the dresser the drawer the pulls so I think I'm gonna paint some white gesso on these in case I decide to paint them I mean some clear gesso in case I decide to paint it black and when I come back and, and show you, uh, it'll probably be done because all that will be left is to put this stuff on and then paint it or something like that. And then put the little finishing touches on the little top of the drawer cabinet, the, little, the enamel, the knobs, the little fake lock type thing. And then to just test it and see if it works. So hopefully it will. Uh, I'll come back at some other point and show you. <laughs> okay, bye. Alright, I'm back with another quick look at the progress. So, I've glued it together. It's not exactly perfect, but it's handmade. So, it's never going to be exactly perfect. Uh, but it's coming along. So I'm going to leave these bands on here for it to dry. It is a tad bit wonky. Just because I think once you start adding glue and paint and stuff, things sort of get a little bit, uh, but it does, it's standing up straight. Um, this was, you know, was cut a little bit wonky, so it looks wonky, but I mean, uh, when I when I painted it, I think the fibers swelled up a little bit, because when I put the hanging file folders back in, it was really hard <laughs> to get them back in there, whereas before, it was pretty easy, so I think painting it maybe shrunk the size, because the fibers of the paper swelled up a little bit, and I did have to make did have to make some adjustments on the uh, the gliders that are on the this part uh, because after I put the file folders in the little the little metal clips or um, hooks were catching onto the the little glide rails so I had to cut those down on all of them so I knew that I might have to do that anyway so yeah, this is where it's at. Um, I'm going to put the bottom pieces on. And that's just like layered cardboard. I think it just weighs the, the uh, cabinet down. Like in a real one, it has just like a little plank, uh, blank thing right there. There's no drawer or anything. It's just like a thing that's down there. Um... Oh, this is the wrong side. <laughs> um, but on the bottom. And of course they all look like that in the back. Uh, and I'll put the back piece on. Later. So, yeah, I'll let that dry. And then I can trim down any any excess, of course. I'm hoping, I don't know how the drawers are going to work now that the paper kind of swelled up a little bit. Um, so I'm hoping that the drawers will function, but I don't know. I'll see when I'm done. And probably the next time I show it to you, whether it works or not, it will probably be painted. And the cover will probably be on in the bottom. Alright, well, I'm going to let you guys go till I finish this little miniature. Okay, I am back. Well, <laughs> this has been a long time coming. Uh, so, this is the final product. It is not by any means perfect, but it, it's going to work for what I need it for. And... 
it all came from a cereal box. There, there are a couple of issues with it. Um, like I said, I think when I painted it, did the the paper actually swelled up a little bit, so um, the inside actually shrunk. If you can, if you know what I mean. Before I painted it, the drawers were nice and loose and were able to move, but after I painted it, I, uh, they they they're in there. They seem tight. But anyway, I was going to paint this white, but I decided to paint it metallic blue. I thought that would, that might go better if I use it in, in the dollhouse someday. So, um, yeah, it's done. I, I was going to put the little wheels on it, and so it's not painted on the bottom, because you won't see that in the dollhouse anyway. But I figured if I'm going to put this in somebody's office, it's not going to be on casters. Um, it'll just be... A file cabinet that that uh, sits on the hardwood floors or wherever it is in the office but I can safely say um, this was very annoying to make it was a lot of fiddly little work and the, the gliders that I put on the sides I had to do a lot of cutting and adjusting because of that tightness and uh, the bottom drawer really d doesn't want to come open for whatever reason, this one seems like it's tighter than this one. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's because I use paper and again, um, maybe even my cutting may be like off somewhere somehow because, you know, when you cut it by hand, it's not, you're not perfect. It's not a machine. I wish I had a laser cutter or something for these, but it's just human error maybe. Like maybe the paper's off a millimeter or I don't, I just don't know. Um, you know, sometimes you can press stuff down, but you might press this side closer together than you press this side and things like that. But at least it's finally done, and I don't know if I'll make another one. Um, I would like to, but I'll give you a look into it. Uh, so it does open, but it's like tough on the bottom. As you can see, there are, the, the there's the, uh, hanging file folders and I put some manila folders in there with uh, labels and stuff on them and I put those little uh, brads on the, on there the top one moves much easier and you can see the files are in the folders and um, so these folders I made a long time ago <laughs> and these these file folders uh, I need a tweezer they they're actually labeled oh as you can see you can't you probably can't read them I don't know how how close I'll be able to get you to read them but I'll just pull one out so you can see I put labels on the files so they're working file folders they do have paperwork in it there's his birth certificate because the the wife or whatever she keeps everything you can't see oh, this is right this is the right side so this is his birth certificate it even has his uh, his ID in there. I think this one is. I think this one is a driver's license, because uh, I actually made driver's license, state ID and social security card all of that birth certificate so you can see how tiny that is it's got the front and the back um i can't find i didn't i the, their, the other stuff is put up somewhere but wherever where i found these folders i did find a little bit of this stuff so i went ahead and put it in already um, so 
So this one has other papers and notes in it. This is her birth certificate. It's more of the newer style. And again, once we got file folders with handwritten papers and notes. So the the reason why I do these is because I want the dollhouse to look authentic or as authentic as possible. And again, I said the main reason people do this is because they can just to see if they can do it. So down here I even have um, a collection of tiny receipts. You can see Costco And that one says Walgreens. So I just did a series of little paper receipts from different places. And these are uh, just copies of actual receipts that I had that I made copies of. And then shrink them down to miniature. So, just a fun little addition to have actual things in the file folders and in, in, in the cabinets. So, doesn't that look cool? I, I think that would look cool opened up in a miniature scene. If it wasn't so difficult, I'd make a set of them. And some taller ones and some, you know, some three by three, I mean three drawer, and probably three or four more of these. But yeah, no, it was just too annoying. So it'll probably be the one, maybe if I do some other ones, they'll just be dummy, dummy uh, cabinets. And then this will just be the one that opens. Um, the only finishing touch I have to put on here is, excuse me, uh, <clears throat> I have to put the little lock right here. And I was thinking about putting a lock with a little key, a little set of keys in it. But I'll see if I even feel like doing that later. But let me know what you think of my working miniature file cabinet. <laughs> it was frustrating but fun. I'll see you in the next video. Maybe I'll do one on how to do these file folders and hanging file folders. But I'll probably do something else. I don't know. But this was very interesting. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.